see, we are not in the boundary waters anymore for all those of you that have been keeping up with the videos. We are home and yeah, we didn't get carried away by mosquitoes, eh Brock? No, not too bad. Brock's here too, once again, y'all. Anyways, dudes, you probably see it in the title and uh, thumbnail down below. We are going to be doing a catfish catch and cook sleepover truck camping thing. I'm going to be sleeping in my truck. Brock's going to be sleeping in his tent. And yeah, we're going to be fishing the Mississippi River for catfish. we got two dogs with us today also. we got Kevin. You guys all know Kevin. And then we got Maya. That's a B-Rock sister's dog that he's watching right now. Yeah, babysitting. But anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We only got about a half an hour drive and uh, we're going to be meeting Marshall outdoors at the spot also. He's going to be fishing with us. So, yeah, stay tuned. Love to see you there. and b rock we're the only humans here that's awesome that's really cool let's try not to get buried in mud here because this looks like it's all mud yeah this looks pretty hairy that's following the road <laughs> stay tuned y'all we're gonna get all set up kind of and whatnot it is hairy back here all right now we should be pretty well all dialed truck looks pretty level eh yeah i'd say you're pretty good there Dude, it looks about the most level i've ever had it actually maya you having fun ton of room for the dogs to look at this someone tried burning this tree down freaking idiots but ton of room for the dogs to run around that's freaking sweet pretty much waiting for nick y'all we're going to be using chicken and i actually have chicken right here bam but we're waiting for nick for the secret uh recipe which is just kool-aid cats really like the chicken soaked in kool-aid and it makes it like a red color so yeah we're waiting for nick he's gonna be here shortly within just a few minutes so what you got going on dog got a just a little swimmer we're gonna throw it around maybe smallmouth maybe walleye do you imagine eating walleye and catfish dude that's what i'm saying dude. <laughs> we're gonna try i suppose while i'm waiting for nick i can kind of get my stuff situated a little bit all right just gotta take those rods out and we're pretty much dialed for bed that does not look very good forgot to mention this but it definitely might rain on us for like an hour but it's gonna pass if it does cross your fingers hopefully it won't rain let's get these out of here it is marshall outdoors look who has made it to the party i'm here baby get that kool-aid i got the kool-aid i got some chicken titties let's go uh, cool. That's the program, man. Just chopping them up. Yeah. Chop them up. Dude, like, that's a lot of chicken. Should we save the expensive stuff? In case we don't catch anything. Yeah. In case we gotta have chicken breasts. Because I got all kinds of seasoning. We could cook that's that something. up. You can save this breast, too, if you want for now. All right, let's do that. Yeah, what are you doing? I know, Yeah, Kevin's all fired. You haven't even pet her. You just hopped out, yelled at yelled her. Yelled at her. I'm sorry, Kevin. You haven't seen You're her in so weeks. Cool. Cool. All right, but get down. All right, but get down. Okay, this is the cat's meow right here. Mm. This is kneaded with the chicken breast. You guessed it. Yes. Give all. It's like crap. <laughs> the first time we figured catfish with chicken. Oh my god, Mary can stop licking his fingers after like baiting and shit. Just not even realizing. <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah. I thought you were making a joke at no. first. <laughs> I'm talking. Yeah, that's. It looks like off? salmon eggs. It it's definitely off. raining a little bit. Yeah, that sucks. It's going to miss us, though. It's going this way. I'm just going right through the center. Really? It stays on really good. And that's it? Yep. All right. This is the problem with this, though. I know. I know. Everything will be chain grabbed. I got paper towels. All right, y'all. Here's the rig we got working. I am just using like some, this looks like 40 pound braid maybe. And then I just have a one ounce weight. Nick's using a four ounce, which 
I'm probably going to have to switch, but I am going to try using just the one ounce. And then we got a 40 pound barrel swivel to some 15 pound fluorocarbon. And then just a little, I don't know what this is, three yacht catfish hook from Walmart. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to get some meat on that hook and let's get some bait soaking. Oh, Maya. Yeah. Are you serious? Dude, I'm not even baited yet. That's such a good sign. Dude, that's a good eater, though. Eater, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Gonna, the chicken titties. <laughs> dude, let's. Can we? Should we keep him? That's, that's a really good eater, that's no? A guaranteed meal, right there. Yeah, we if should. If you want to, yeah. I think I we mean, should keep him. A little small. Really? You're not gonna. You're gonna want to keep keep another one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Maybe. But wouldn't you think smaller is better for eating? I'm not a big catfish. Yeah. I don't know. I don't so. Know. I'm not good at cleaning them, so. But a little bit bigger, like a three pounder. So I get enough meat out of it. All right, we'll throw the first one away for good luck. How about that? That is a good sign, though. Like, dude, I'm not even, I'm not even baited up yet. Yeah, that was two minutes of fishing. Whoa. And also, really quick, I am putting on a four ounce weight. Uh, one ounce isn't heavy enough. I'm fired up though. Stay tuned. All right, where should I cast? Straight out. Yeah. I don't know. I tried. Huh? What'd you put on? Chicken. Uh-huh. It is on bottom. <laughs> it's like literally balancing perfect. If one hits it right now, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, dude, I just got hit. No way. As it was balancing there. Bro, we're going to crush tonight. What was that? What? Beaver. Beaver fee, baby. Oh, got one. Yeah, I got slammed. What? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I promise. The bite's on. The bite's on, boys. Bite's on. We're going to have a fun night, Brock. All right, Marshall, you sure you ain't going to stay? Okay. Doesn't down. feel very big, but man, did he slam it and did that feel good? Are you going to eat it? We got the, the medium heavy big ol' MF -er rod, just in case you guys are curious, too. It's one of my buddy Ben's rods. It works perfect for like big swim baits and catfishing. All right, come on, buddy. Looks like a pretty good eater. Hey, Nick. Oh, yeah. Where should I put this guy? What do you think of that, Kevin? Come here, buddy. Oh, grab him just like that. Hey, Brock, will you throw me those pliers in the door there? Yeah. Here, I'm right here. You just hand him to me. Thanks, homie. Here we go, y'all. The first eater kitty of the day. That is a perfect eater. All right, we need to figure out like a stringer or something. Yeah, let's brainstorm here. Should we, uh, yo, we should, I, I'm gonna bleed this guy out too, hey. Yeah, it's either that. Oh, sorry, Maya, here. There you go. Maya's a little timid, so she's hanging out in the truck. And Kevin keeps running off, so. You already know, she's hooked up to the tire, but she's chilling. She's been running for an hour already. All right, stringer. Do it. Or we could just literally put it on like some line. What are you doing with that little stick? What am I doing with the stick? Yeah. I'm gonna tie this line to it. And then put it through his gills? Uh, yeah. Oh. Good idea, huh? Yeah. Then I don't have to poke my fingers through it. Mm -hmm. We got some fresh catfish. How's that thing swimming? I slid its thing. <laughs> Do a backflip. That's freaking sick, dude. <laughs>
third cast in. <laughs> Stay, Stay. <laughs> well, y'all, Nick is peacing out. The sun is officially past the trees. I'm not even kidding y'all. It has been so slow the past like two hours. We got here and it was pretty freaking fast. Like we missed like six instantly and then caught the two and then literally we've missed like two, three since then and it's just been super slow. Kind of weird actually. Usually it's opposite. Usually uh, once the sun starts going down it gets a little bit better. But anyway, stay tuned. We would like to catch one more at least and uh, yeah, then we're gonna start cooking. But we need to catch one. Oh man. Before it gets too dark, y'all, we got a fresh, brand new merch drop. The old Taco Bell Fish and More collab. Once again, just don't tell Taco Bell about it, but this thing is freaking lit. Same as the last few merch drops we've been doing. Uh, for this one, we're gonna be selling 25 hoodies and 20 t shirts. And after that, they're never gonna be on the site again, so. Act fast, go cop them. Everyone freaking loves T-Bell, come on. Also, it's getting real close to that start cooking chicken mark. <laughs> Do you need this thing? It's starting to get dark out, y'all. Me and Brock are starting to get hungry, so I'm about to start cleaning this catfish, and if we don't get a schnibble, like by the time I'm done cleaning this, we're about to just cook this and the chicken and have a little combination chicken and catfish alfredo stay tuned y'all i need to get my flay knife and hi maya what are you doing in here anyways yeah i'm gonna clean this sucker up quick stay tuned right there oh not even gonna lie to y'all i've not cleaned that many catfish so yeah just i'm not gonna teach you anything just enjoy this time lapse and we'll talk to you at the next step or we'll talk to you Hopefully we'll be hooked up. Dang, dude, you got that fire roaring. It's going decent now. Good job. Huh? Not bad. Might have to take a little bit of belly meat off here, but I think I did pretty good on that. Uh, apparently you're not supposed to really eat this belly meat. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty gross, so most people cut it off right there at this spot here. Anyways, we freaking crushed that. Let's do the same exact thing to this side. Not bad, y'all. Not bad at all. Let's get these suckers chunked up. Get them into some some batter. For batter today, y'all, we're switching it up a little bit. We got some New Orleans style by Louisiana fish fry products. Got a few of their stuff. It's pretty good. And then uh, we got some pretty good Alfredo sauce too. Noodles, but B-Rock's going to be cooking that. We just need this. And one of these. Dang, dude. Yeah. Good stuff. This stuff smells really good. Take our catfish. I'm just going to roll it right in here. There. And then get some more of this. Oh, dude. I wanted to add just a little bit of panko, too, just to crispy, in it, crispy it up. Dude, really quick, too. Let me get this chicken going. Hmm? 
Hey, bro. I don't know if you maybe want to try to get some water boiling on that fire. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Tell y'all what. Smelling pretty good. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the deep fried approach on the fish. I feel like they're all gonna cook pretty good. Dude, hey, might just start kicking my fish and pops. Yeah. One just surfaced right there. Where's your rock? Okay, never mind. I can't believe we're not getting bites. We're probably don't have bait on. Seriously. You have one right now. Huh? You have one right now. Yeah. Your rock's going like this. You just broke it. Yeah, broke, it right broke the line and got stuck in the tree. Dude. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, yeah. Oh. Golden crispies, dude. Just to keep those fish warm, I'm gonna put them in here until the Alfredo's ready. Should've probably did that in the first place. Really quick. <laughs> Y'all know the rules. Chef always gets the first place. Mm. Oh my God. Bomb. Whoa. What? I didn't do nothing. Get out of here, dude. Let's Get out of here. I didn't do nothing. All right, B-Rock, if you want to transfer that to over here, we can get that water boiling a little bit faster. Dude, like, I legit feel like we eat better camping than we do at, at the house. Well, I was going to cook this, like, separately, y'all, but the noodles are just about done, and the chicken's, like, done, so I'm just about to pour this all in with the chicken, and then mix up the noodles with everything at the end, and then we can just put the fish on top or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How's the noodles? It's a little longer. A little okay. hard in the middle yet. I'll put this in. Once again, I got better freaking silverware in my truck than I do at my house. Here's your fork, Doc. Oh, thanks. Yep. Fish. I'm about to go ham sandwich on this. First things first, we're gonna get ourselves some sauce. We already tried the fish. Let's go in for some of this chicken. Now, for some fish. Dude, you already know it's freaking so damn good. God dang, dude. Can I throw some pepper on that? No, I'm chilling. Okay. But, dude, fish Alfredo. I said it once, I will say it again. If you guys haven't tried it yet, you're sleeping. This is so bomb. I'm about to get a trifecta going. Get some fish on here. And chicken. Fish, chicken, and noodles. Brock, did you eat yet? Just about. Kev. There you go, homie. You gotta go away, though, now. Go. Alright, Joe. I'm about to absolutely smash this. Stay tuned. I'm going to catch a catfish after this. Hopefully. Or I'm gonna try hard, too.
So I got a mosquito in there from the boundary waters. We have moved operations, y'all. This fire is too warm to not be next to, so I'm just gonna fish them right here. It's a little weedy, but I think we can make something happen. Let's go. Little update, y'all. We got all the stuff all cleaned up. B Rock got his tent set up. B Rock is sitting there fishing, about to go in for a round two on some more tea. The fishing is so freaking slow, y'all. Like, craziest I've ever seen here. Usually, like, the later it gets, the better it gets. And today, right when we got here, they're snapping, and it's been just dead since that. I just missed another one. Uh uh. They are nibbling. I don't know if Dude, I mentioned that, that y'all. Yeah, hand. I missed like five the past half an hour, but they're just, just tick, tick. I wonder if the hook's tick, tick, too tick. big and they're just chomping on it, feeling they just let it go right away. I don't know. What do you think, Kev? You having fun? Yeah, eating some good food, getting some good uh, workouts. That's my dude. Look at that, look at that. She's like, <laughs> what are you on the doing, edge, Maya? Like that tree is the only thing that's holding her up. Oh, here she comes. Look at that, she just made a little burrow down there. Maya. You having fun, Maya? Huh? Oh, you guys, you guys stick? Get it. Get a stick. Get a stick, Kevin. Oh, you was, Kev. Are you freaking serious? I'm serious, dog. No way. We're just sitting here next to the fire, y'all. I literally have, hold on. I literally have Kevin in my lap right now. Kevin and me are just chilling. Dude, no way. Okay, hold on. Watch out, Kev. Are they boat clipping or what? Yeah, probably. <laughs> dude, no way! Boat freaking time, dude! Holy cow. Look how wrapped up and stuff he is. Well, I was probably just dragging him through the weeds right there. Like, wow. I think we're on him now. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Midnight? It is. <laughs> Two in the morning? Get, yeah, quick time check, yo. It is 12.17 a.m. Not kidding, y'all. We've missed. It's it's like we're having action, but they're not staying hooked. And that's probably why. Look how small they are. That's like the same size as that last one. Yeah, do you remember like, literally, where we put that fire? We're missing so many. Yeah, they're, they're right over here by this tree. Dude, that's you can crazy, crazy, though. That's why, look at This is why we're not hooking up. Look at Their mouths are smaller than our bait. No kidding. Maybe we might have to chunk those chicken up to half size. I know, but... I want a big one. I want you to snap my line. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, did you snap your line? No. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> I dude. seen it. I saw the meat go, <laughs> but I didn't think I broke it. I heard it and seen it. Dude, you got a cat though. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's freaking pretty go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well, that really didn't give me much encouragement to like retie and get back out there. I was I'm honestly, I'm about, I got about this much tea. I'm about to hit the hay. Good job, though, though, Nothing. bro. Good to the dog. Just kidding. Chilling. Chilling. Night, dog. I'm gonna go somewhere over here quick. Okay. Kev, how are you doing? Give you a quick wipe down before you hop in Dad's truck. Come on, Kev. Let's go. Oh, I am dead. How you doing, Kev Lard? Want to come hang out? Yeah. Oh. Well, y'all, I am exhausted. I'm sure the Kevlar it is, too. I'm about to crawl in my sleeping bag and pass the frick out. Stay tuned, y'all. We will talk to you guys in the morning. Kev is just instantly in pass-out mode, too. Oh, yeah. Morning, Kev. You sleep good? Morning, y'all.
I'm going to say, Kev. Morning, dog. I need to put pants on. How did you sleep, dog? Slept good. I think this is the first time you've ever woke up before me. I know. Like, no cap. No cap at all. What? No, I just got to Oh, weather is definitely not looking the greatest. Looks like it might rain. Anyway, so I think uh, we might end this one here. After you get going shortly here, I got some stuff to do today, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Pretty fun one for us. Kind of a weird one, though. As far as the bite, anyways, it was really weird. Like I mentioned earlier in this video already, usually the later you fish at this spot, like the more catfish you catch. Yesterday, right away when we got here, we're getting bit like literally every five minutes and then it just freaking went dead on us. But hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Make sure you guys don't forget to go check out the new Fish and More T-Bell merch. It is freaking hood. And yeah, I think that's it, y'all. We're gonna keep this one nice and short. Peace out. See you guys next episode.